What's up folks, hope you're having a great time. So it's currently 7.30 a.m. in the morning uh, here in Turkey, Istanbul. I'm here with my brother, my girlfriend, and his girlfriend, and we're gonna spend New Year's over here, which is gonna be quite exciting. Now they are currently still sleeping while I do this video, so I can't be too loud just to let you guys know. And I actually just woke up. You can probably see my sleepy face. And today is the 31st of December, and this will probably be my last video of this year. So I thought it would be great to make a quick tutorial on how to color grade your videos uh, with your iPhone using the photo app. Now they're editing softwares like Final Cut Pro that give you advanced tools to color grade your footage. They're even editing apps out there like LumaFusion and InShot that also allow you to color grade your footage. But we will be using the photo app since it already comes with the iPhone and it's one of the easiest and quickest way to color grade your footage. And this way you don't necessarily have to download a third party app. And I actually shot some footages here in Turkey with the iPhone 13 Pro Max in 4K HDR that we will be color grading. So with that said, let's get started color grading our footage. So I'm first gonna open up the Photos app and we will be editing this video over here, uh, which is a shot I took um, of the city of Istanbul and this was shot during sunset actually. Now in order to color grade this video, we're gonna select edit and you have the option to either adjust the colors individually or add filter or combine both of these methods. So in order to add a filter to this video clip, just select these three rings over here and then you have different color presets to choose. And I think for this one, the dramatic warm looks really nice. And I can also adjust the intensity by sliding uh, this one either to the left or right. And I'm gonna keep it at around 60 and then I can hit done. Now this is a great option if you don't have time uh, to color grade your footage uh, and adjusting each color, you can just apply a filter to your footage. But since we're pros, we're gonna adjust each color individually. So I'm gonna reset that, and I'm gonna select this icon over here. So the first option we have is the auto. This will automatically apply uh, and adjust the colors for you, but we won't be using that. Let's move on to exposure. This actually controls the brightness of your image. So moving the slide to the right will make the overall image brighter and moving it to the left, darker. And I actually like to bring the exposure down to around minus, I would say around minus 15. This looks great. Next up is highlights. This controls the highlights without affecting the shadows. And I like to bring this down just to bring more details in the highlights. And if we look at the before and after, you can see that we brought down the highlights in the skies. Moving on to shadows, the shadows controls the darkest area in the image uh, without affecting the highlights. So I actually want to increase this a bit uh, to bring out the details in the dark areas. Next up is contrast. So by sliding to the right, it will make your image pop more or by sliding to the left, it will create that sort of fade um, in your image. Now I actually like to add some contrast to around 30. Next up is brightness, and I'm actually gonna reduce that a little bit to around minus 15. Next is the black point, which controls the dark areas in the image, and I can actually increase that to around 10. Next up is saturation, which controls the intensity of color in the image. I actually wanna increase that to around 15. Next up, we have Vibrance. Now, Vibrance also controls the intensity of color in your image, but leaves colors out that are in the red or orange area, usually to preserve uh, the skin tone colors. So as I move the slider to the left, it will take out all the colors uh, except the ones in the red areas. So this rooftop over here to the left is still red while everything else has been desaturated. So I'm actually gonna reduce this just a little bit to make the buildings pop more. And I'm gonna head back and actually increase the saturation a bit more to around 
30. Next up, we have warmth. So you can move the slider to the right to add more warmth into your image or to the left to make your image look cooler. I think this image would look great if I would make it warmer to around 45. This looks really great. And here is the before and after. Next up, we have tint. So moving the slider to the right will add more magenta into your image or moving to the left will add more green into your image. And I like to use tint to remove uh, magenta or green color cast in my footage. Now this actually looks really great already and I actually want to add a little bit of green into this image just slightly to around minus three. Next up is sharpness. Now I usually don't add a lot of sharpness into my video since the iPhone tends to over sharpen uh, the image overall. So I will just add a slight sharpening to around four. Next up is definition, which will give more definition, especially in the edges. Increase that to around four. Next up is noise reduction. And this is especially noticeable in the dark areas. So if I zoom in, I actually don't notice much noise, but I can actually increase it to just reduce a little bit of noise in the shadow areas to around 10. And last we have vignette. And this is great to actually let the audience focus their attention towards an object or subject. In this case, it would be this mosque. So I'm actually gonna increase it by sliding to the right. That creates this nice vignette. So let's look at the before and after. So we can actually use this image as a final grade, but if you want to, you can actually add a filter on top. So I'm gonna select the three rings and then I'm gonna choose one that would look great for this video. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of dramatic warm to this image. And I'm gonna reduce the slider to around 35. I think I'm gonna increase the brightness just a little bit more. So I'm gonna head over to exposure and I'm gonna bring the exposure up overall. Then I'm gonna select done. So there you have it guys. That is how you quickly grade your footage using the photo app on your iPhone. This is an amazing tool for those that want to quickly get the most out of their image when posting it on their social media. Okay guys, so let me show you the view. Now, I actually wanted to record a time lapse of the sun rising, but as you can see, it is quite cloudy out here. But I'm still going to show you the time lapse I recorded. Now, our trip so far has been really amazing. Uh, we met a lot of people, we ate some good food too, and a couple of days ago, we did this pop crawl where we went from one club to another just partying as if it were our last day here on earth. So if you haven't been to Turkey yet, you should definitely come. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll actually be heading back to Switzerland on the 4th of January, and I will be also celebrating my birthday. So there are many things happening currently, but I try to keep my upload schedule consistent. It's not always easy, but it's possible if you want to, right? And I also wanna thank you guys for continuously supporting me. This has been an amazing journey for me. You guys really enjoyed the content that I produce and I'm having a lot of fun creating these tutorials. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Also download the free smartphone filmmaking guide because that will help you get started creating quality videos with your smartphone. Also make sure to join the smartphone filmmaking group. Our community on Facebook is almost reaching 4,000 members. So this is really mind blowing and I'm really happy to see how active you guys are too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you guys a happy new year. Take care and I will see you the next time.